Over the last few months, we've gotten rumors and leaks galore from Nintendo and things around Nintendo. Leaks that a Nintendo Switch Pro is coming. Leaks that there will be Nintendo Switch Pro exclusive games. Leaks on certain games that are coming out. But guys, today I am going to look at the idea of Mario Kart 9 and whether or not I believe Mario Kart 9 will be launching and talked about at E3 2021. Next on Mumble Videos. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Mumbles. In today's episode of Mumbles, I'm bringing you guys some gaming news. And our gaming news today is going to be related to Mario Kart 9. Will it come out? Will it be announced at E3? Won't it come out? Will it not be announced at E3? That's what we're going to talk about today on today's episode of Mumbles. I have some data that I want to show you guys. I have some numbers that you guys need to see to fully understand this topic. And we're going to give you guys all that throughout this video. But before I do, I have to say, please, 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 if you have not already, subscribe to Mumbles videos. And thank you guys all so much for doing so. I really appreciate the support. Guys, now we're going to jump straight into this information. Now, guys, the rumor that... That Mario Kart 9 would be announced at some point this year was based on a 4chan user. Basically, this is what he said. Here is the actual rumor that he posted. Some of the games that he mentions here have obviously been talked about and announced by Nintendo. So, that has people thinking that Mario Kart 9 is coming. So guys, there's a lot of things fueling this rumor. Starting with the fact that Mario Kart 8 was originally launched as a Wii U title. This game came out with the Wii U and was actually ported to the Nintendo Switch and brought it with extra content as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And it has been going strong ever since. But that means that this game is a couple years old. It's got some age on it. So that has people wondering, you know, is it possible? Could it be possible? Me, myself, I want Mario Kart 9 so bad. Just look at my channel. I've done over like 100 videos on Mario Kart and my gameplays. I love that game. I would love to see a Mario Kart 9. But guys, I don't think the future holds at this point Mario Kart 9. Guys, I will tell you why. It was just announced a couple days ago that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the top selling racing game of all time over everything. It is the top. Number one. Let the goal. It is number one. And guys, beyond that, it is also consistently at the top of Nintendo's sales charts each month for units sold. This game is very, very popular. Guys, it is it has outdone every other Mario Kart game out there, and they all usually sell pretty dang good. But this one has blown the numbers out of the water, and it continues to do so. Guys, here is some charts from the NSD group that basically tracks how companies like Nintendo are doing. And this is a chart that basically shows what their top rated games, what their sales were on those games, what's selling the best. I had the last three months, January, February, March, and I also have 2020 for a year showing you how many units were sold of each game. Now, as you can see, Animal Crossing's up there, Mario Kart's up there. These are games that Nintendo's making a lot of money on. A lot of money. And guys, that is something that hasn't really started to go down as of yet. We haven't seen that drop. Usually when a game like Mario Kart starts to die out, you see the sales numbers drop. That's not the case. In fact, it constantly is usually up in the top five somewhere. So that means the game is still continuing to sell. We're not just talking about a game that's just sitting there, you know, oh, this many people bought it, but now nobody else is buying it. No, people are still buying this game and buying it actively. The second point I want to take into account is the fact that Nintendo has launched Mario Karts between the time of the Nintendo Switch Deluxe version and now. So in that time frame, they have launched Mario Kart Tour, which was a free mobile game, and they have launched Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, which is the one where you can drive around in little cars. So there has been Mario Kart games out there. Now in history, if you look in history, usually there is only one Mario Kart game per system. Super NES, one Mario Kart. N64, one Mario Kart. GameCube, one Mario Kart. Game Boy Advance, one Mario Kart. Nintendo Wii U, one Mario Kart. So guys, for there to be a second Mario Kart on the Nintendo Switch would be interesting in itself. Because that's basically all the data that I have to show you guys. I'm just gonna kind of summarize things now and talk about some points. Now, I know what some of you thinking are thinking already. Mumbles, this makes no sense. If they launch Mario Kart 9 right now, all those people with Mario Kart 8 are gonna buy it because they want the next version. Yes and no. 
Let me present a situation for you guys. And I know it's probably not gonna happen, but I wanna present it because this is the way companies think. I'm Nintendo. I'm got Mario Kart 8 and it's constantly doing great. It's doing great, 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 great. I decide, hey, let me bring out Mario Kart 9. Boom, Mario Kart 9. Boom, Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8's gonna go by bit. Oh wait, the reviews are saying Mario Kart 9 isn't as good as Mario Kart 8. Uh oh, uh oh no. People are sticking with Mario Kart 8. The, that base that was gonna buy this game, they're sticking with this one because this one isn't as good. Now what happens? You've got a game that has competition from a game that is doing fantastic, that people absolutely love. Can you beat that? Is Nintendo willing to take that risk? I don't think so myself, I really don't. Now, that's pretty much where I'm going with this. I know that Mario Kart 8 has been out forever, but as long as it's still bringing in money actively and bringing in a lot of money, I don't think they're gonna change that and I don't think they're gonna bring out a Mario Kart 9. But I will present a situation for to you where I think it could happen. Let's say we get to E3 and Nintendo says, Nintendo Switch Pro, boop, 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 boop. Mario Kart 9 exclusive. Now you have a Mario Kart 9 that is not actively competing with Mario Kart 8 because it can only be played on the Nintendo Switch Pro. It can only take advantage of those updated graphics. Then I could see it being announced as Mario Kart 9, here it is, it's a Switch Pro exclusive. But beyond that guys, I just don't see Mario Kart 9 coming out this year. As much as it pains me to say because I love Mario Kart 8 and I would love a Mario Kart 9, I just don't see it happening this year. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Maybe you think I'm a moron. Maybe you think I wasted your time. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And guys, I love to hear from you guys, so write whatever. Anyways, guys, this is going to be Mumble Sign Now. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, and smack all those button, 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 button. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.